It is said that the story of man is also a saga of his struggle against the unpredictability of weather. Over time, man realized that weather phenomena resulted from physical processes in the atmosphere. Today, man has the ability to predict to some extent the weather and to make necessary modifications in his day-to-day -day activities. Now let's learn about it in detail. Weather and climate are two different concepts. Weather is the physical state of the atmosphere at a given time. In simple terms, it refers to the day-to-day -day conditions of the atmosphere at a definite place and at a fixed time. Weather influences day-to-day -day activities such as clothing, farming, modes of transportation, etc. The long-term average of weather of an area is called the climate. It determines water potential, natural vegetation, cropping patterns, land use, housing and other infrastructure, industrial location, etc. Now let's learn about the elements of weather. The earth's surface is warmed by the sun and cooled by rain and winds. The energy transformations in the atmosphere, oceans and land manifest as weather phenomena and culminate in climate in the long run. Various elements such as temperature, pressure, humidity, etc. give rise to atmospheric variations. What is temperature? Temperature refers to the degree of hotness or coldness of the air. The temperature of the atmosphere varies not only between day and night but also from season to season. For example, summers are hotter than winters. The factors which influence the distribution of temperature across the world are the following. The first factor that is difference in latitude. Temperature decreases with increase in latitude on either side of the equator. This is due to the spherical shape of the earth and its revolution around the sun. On this basis, the earth is divided into five temperature zones. They are the torrid zone that is between the tropics of Cancer and Capricorn. The north temperate zone and the south temperate zone. And the two frigid zones that is near to the poles both in the northern and in the southern hemispheres. The sun's rays fall over the torrid zone, travel shorter distance and heat up a small surface area leading to higher temperature. Beyond the torrid zone, sun's rays travel longer distance. The sun's rays fall in a slanting position and heat up a large area. This is because of the inclined axis and revolution of the earth on its axis. Most of the heat is absorbed by clouds and water vapor or reflected back on dust particles. Thus, there is a fall in temperature as we move towards the poles. The second factor that influences the distribution of temperature across the world is the altitude. The height of a place above mean sea level is known as its altitude. The higher the altitude, the lower the temperature. The third factor is the distance from the sea. The areas close to the sea have lower daily and annual ranges of temperature. So, here the people enjoy equable temperature. Whereas people living away from the sea experience extremes of temperature. 
For example, the summers are hotter in Delhi than in Mumbai. And the fourth factor is the ocean currents. Ocean currents are large masses of surface water that circulate in regular patterns around the oceans. The warm ocean currents tend to raise the temperature of the places where they flow. For example, the British Isles enjoy a mild climate on account of the warm North Atlantic drift. Similarly, the Peru current, a cold ocean current, greatly cools the hot climate of Peru. The fifth factor, winds. Winds blowing from warm regions raise the temperature, whereas those blowing from the colder regions lower the temperature. For example, in the plains of northern India, very hot and dry winds blow from the hot desert areas of Rajasthan in summer in the afternoons. These winds called loo raise the temperature and cause severe heat wave. And the last factor that we are going to learn is natural vegetation. A crop covered field absorbs between 60 and 80 percent of the solar energy, while a snow surface absorbs only about 20 percent. A forest surface absorbs about 90 percent of the solar energy. So forested areas bring down the temperature of a place. That's why the temperature in cities is much higher than that of villages. Now let us go through some key points. Weather refers to the day-to-day -day conditions of atmosphere at a definite place and at a fixed time. Climate refers to the average atmospheric conditions of an area over a considerably long period of time. The elements of weather and climate are temperature, humidity, atmospheric pressure, rainfall, wind speed and direction, and cloudiness. Exercises Answer the following Distinguish between weather and climate. What is meant by weather? What are its main elements? Students, please read the lesson and write down the answers in your notebook and learn it. We will be back with part 2. Thank you for learning along. Thank you and have a great day.